<laughs> That's not what happened. All right, we're gonna we're gonna take a really quick break. When we come back, we're not only gonna talk about Jason's hair, but find out what's in it right now, right here on American Idol Extra. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm talking with Jason Castro. So, wh so what is in your hair? I mean, other than product and wax, I see a couple. I, I don't beads. Uh, yeah, what am I looking at? beads. I found the, these beads. Whenever I started my dreads, I actually had these beads hanging around, and I never used them. And then one day I was like, hmm, I found them, and I started putting them on wherever they would fit. <laughs> oh, look, this I put in the other week at the Love Show when we were in Las Vegas. Yeah. A little peace sign. And there's a, a ring as well, a yes, little gold ring. a ring here that my girlfriend gave to me. Oh. She, uh, she was coming out, and she wanted to give me a little something. and uh, So you put it in there, and now kind of she's with you whenever you're... Yeah. <laughs> no. I just saw the romantic that, side of oh. Jason Castro all the time. Oh. I just saw the romantic side. I like so. so how long have you um, been dating? I mean, well, is this it's new been, love. Is this? It's it's kind of it's a real it's a long story. But um, I got Jay. I got so much time in <laughs> videotape. Yeah. Uh, we've kind of been like talking for like two years, and we actually dated for like a month, like over a year ago, and then we still liked each other, but we broke up anyways because we were just in two different uh, states. Yeah, and we're from the same hometown, but um. So, uh, I don't know, just we were both so busy and stuff, and it just, we were kind of serious about relationships. So, if we're going to do it, we're going to do it. Do and right. uh, so, we didn't then, and now, circumstances have allowed, but, I don't know, we're kind of giving it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting shy, aren't you? Uh, kind of. <laughs> All right, I'm going to let you off the hook. Um, during the commercial break, you yawned really big. <laughs> and it made me think, it made me think, you know, that's not the first time. There's been a sense sometimes when you're backstage yeah. that you're either falling asleep or you are utterly and completely bored uh, with the proceedings. And I mean, that's what my, my wife at home actually goes, did you watch the show tonight? I think, I said, yeah, honey, I watched the show. Uh, I think Jason Castro fell asleep. Are you I'm not are you bored? bored at all and tired, yes. Yeah. But I hear yawning doesn't have to do with being tired. I don't know if I believe it. But um, I don't know, even before songs, I'll just be yawning. I'm just a chronic yawner, I guess. But um, so, Some people say that that's uh, like a tension release, like you're just sort of working out the tension. Is that... You don't look tense. It just happens. I don't know why <laughs> or, or what it does. <laughs> but it wasn't, you weren't falling asleep. You weren't like crying. How could you? Shut up already. I mean, no. No. I, man, Wednesdays are my favorite day. Really? Cause I know. Because yeah, everybody hate hates them, but I love them, man. What do you love about it? Because there's no pressure. You get to go sing a goofy song and dance around on stage. <laughs> what else do you even do that? I'm never going to do that again. And it's just, it's just like so... Fun. And then the whole proceeding is just, I mean, it's cool because I just always, you know, have the mentality that it's okay, whatever happens, I'm not concerned. So if you think like that, you know, I mean, it doesn't define me who I am if I make it, you know, 20th or 4th. I like 4th better. 4th, yeah, 4th is not so bad. <laughs> but, uh, but, you know, it's, I don't know, it's not something to get worked up about. And so it's yeah. Well, in addition to picking different songs every week, you also kind of have to, like, adapt your look a little bit every week, you know? I mean, you, you've always had kind of this. This yeah. dreadlocky vibe going on, but I mean, even you. I'm looking at these shoes. Those are not college station yeah, no Texas shoes. So, where, did your style kind of evolve during the show a little bit? Did uh, you develop a yeah, taste? Yeah, it like has. And uh, you know, we had a little liberty in shopping, which I usually don't shop. And uh, if I do, I just I'm tied in the wallet. So, I just <laughs> so when somebody else is writing the checks. Yeah. And you've got somebody like Miles standing there saying, well, I think you'd look good in this. Yeah. And <laughs> how much input did you have and how much input did, like, um, Miles? I mean, it was pretty mutual. Like, I had to like it and he had to like it. And sometimes they would throw stuff on me that, that I would see and I'd be like, never. <laughs> like, uh, like one, night, one time, and I still don't know what I think about the outfit, but there were, like, these dress pants with the jean, like, jacket thing. I didn't like the vibe with the dress pants and the jean jacket. It just felt weird because it was, like, real heavy up top and yeah. these pants were, like, all thin. But everybody seemed to like that outfit. That was that was the furthest away from myself that I got. Yeah, well, generally, I mean, generally, I try to keep. But generally, it. you've looked like you. Whether it was a ukulele in your hand or, or nothing at all, you've looked like you. <laughs> all right, more to come. I want to talk more with Jason Castro, and I want you to be there for it. We're coming back with more on American Idol Extra. When I auditioned in Dallas, I had only performed in public about five times. Uh, look, I think you look the part, Jason. I'm not sure that you sounded the part. I'm gonna say yes. I say yes. Welcome to Hollywood, Jason. Yeah! Seen your flag on the marble lodge, and love is not a victory march. It's a cold and it's a broken hallelujah.
I am so glad that you showed a beautiful vulnerability. Jason, I've got to tell you, you are getting better and better and better. Yeah. That was the hottest so far tonight right there. That was blazing molten hot. I must find a way of letting go, cause baby. So confident and so in that zone, and it's just lovely to hear you. I am going to have to agree with Paula. <laughs> you know, if I could just make music, that's just that's my dream job, and like that, that could become a reality. Oh, I don't wanna cry. <laughs> when Over the Rainbow came up on that screen, you really lit up. When, it, when that, you and the ukulele, you really lit up. Was that the best week that for you? That was the best week for many reasons. I mean, I learned the ukulele in a week. That was just fun and cool. I loved it. And, uh, and just the song is one of my favorite songs. And um, it's just beautiful to sing. And that one, I actually, you know, every performance I've ever watched back, I, uh, I watch it and at some point I cringe and I'm like, oh, and I shut it off. But, um, but that one, I could sit through the whole thing. And I think just vocally it was my best one too. I was... On I, I felt exactly the same. You not only were you on, but I saw a range in your voice that I didn't always see in the other performances. That and Hallelujah, yeah. I thought you really showed the full breath. See, of your hallelujah range. would have been one of my favorites, except for that last note and a couple parts. Like I was kind of shaky, so because that's another one of my favorite songs. It's such a blast singing it. Is there ever a sense when you have those great weeks like Hallelujah? I mean, I think everybody would say Hallelujah and Over the Rainbow really stand out for them. Is there ever a sense that you're that oh I got you're struggling to get back to that point? I mean, you always are, and it's all, it's all about the song, like those songs, it's, it's those songs, it's not anything me or, it's just, and those songs only come around, you know, every so often, they're not in every song list, you know, there's not, you know, I was like, we want the hallelujah again, but there's not a hallelujah in every week. You know? Yeah, any, I, I think I know the answer to this, if I, if I know you, do you have any regrets about this, would you, would you do it all the same? I mean, if there's any way to sing a little better, I would. <laughs> but uh, no, no regrets. I did my best. Well, congratulations, man. Number four, and an extremely, extremely talented bunch. I think there are people out here that would love to get an autograph from you. Thank you very much. All right, while well, JC's busy signing autographs, I'm going to remind you to tune in Wednesdays before the show to walk the red carpet with Kimberly, Rosanna, and Justin on TV Guide Network's Idol 10.